everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marisa Kazem and today I'm going to be showing you my June setup in my bullet journal. So for the month of June, I decided to go with Princess Tiana. If you're new to my channel, basically there are 12 official Disney princesses and for each month I am picking a different Disney princess as my theme and this month I went with Tiana. Now I was going to wait to do Tiana for August just because the colors of the movie and the setting just make me think of the month August for some reason. However, I have had one of my subscribers named Izumi Midoriya, I believe that's how to pronounce her name, and she has been commenting on all of my princess videos asking me to do Tiana for June because June is her birthday month. and. I had no particular reason to do Tiana in August, so I thought, why not? I will move Tiana up earlier in the list, and I will do her this month for June for Izumi's birthday. So I just want to say happy birthday to you. I don't know which day of the month is your birthday, but I moved up this theme just for you, so I really hope you like it and that I do it justice for you. So now let's talk about the cover page. I decided to do the art print that Tiana and her dad have a moment over. I think it was ripped out from a magazine or something of a restaurant and I just loved how they were both talking about their dream and our food and then he writes Tiana's place on it and I thought it would be a great picture to use for the cover page because there is a lot of color detail in this painting. There's not a lot of like figures in the background, there's more shadows, but the colors are very unique and it kind of has this circular striped pattern. And I could not make this small and put it on the corner of a page. I really wanted to do a bigger painting of this and I thought the cover page would be perfect. And I also did all of the drawings in this setup the same way that I did last month where I just transferred them with graphite paper because I just found it easier for me, especially because I did not start filming this until May 26th and this is being posted on May 31st and I have filmed the whole thing, painted everything and edited it in time and that's because I saved all that time by using graphite paper. So that's what I did and I just loved how this painting turned out. If you're wondering why the colors that I painted look very different to the image that I printed off, it's because my printer is not the best and it oversaturates everything and I tried to make the colors of this look more similar to how it actually looks in the movie and it's not so much of a bright orange as the paper I had printed off, it's much more subtle so that's what I went with. And on the side here we have our quote page which says the only way to get what you want in this world is through hard work and that is a quote that Tiana says and I just absolutely love this work ethic of Tiana like that's literally one of my favorite things about her this movie came out I think it was either 2008 or 2009 and I was literally a child and I remember loving this movie because it was finally a Disney princess that kind of reminded me of what I was raised on. Like the way Tiana's dad is with her is exactly how my dad was with me. And like in the real world, we're not born princesses and we have to work hard. And I just love that although Tiana wanted to wish on a star and her dad encouraged it, her dad also said, you have to put in the hard work. And I just love that. It's one of my favorite things about this movie. So this is my calendar and goal spread and on this page I decided to paint Charlotte's balcony from her bedroom which is where Tiana makes her wish on the star to get her restaurant and I really wanted to paint this just because I loved all of the blue colors in this scene. I loved her dress, I loved the coloring of the building, I loved the clouds and the sky 
and I really wanted to paint something that related to Charlotte just because she's so funny but I didn't want to make anything too about Charlotte because this is Tiana's theme but I thought this was a great painting to put in the corner here and I love the colors of it and it was really fun to paint. I loved working with the pink lighting on the inside of the balcony doors, like that was really fun. And the clouds here are not my best work, I'm still new to watercolour and they kind of look more like a magical mist than clouds but it works for me, it's pretty, it's cute and it reminds me of the movie so that's all I needed. So I just also want to talk about why Tiana is such a special princess to me and that's because like I mentioned briefly earlier she really reminds me of my dad and if you're new to my channel um, my dad passed away in February of 2021 from COVID and it's been a rough you know time for me a rough year and a half but watching the princess and the frog this month just really did something for me because when this movie first came out I remember being like oh my god that is my dad as a Disney princess like if my dad were a Disney princess he would be Tiana because my dad had a very rough life um, he is Persian he had to escape the war he went to England he became homeless he became illegal in England because his passport was stolen and he had to work illegally to pay for his living. He had to pay for his own education out of his pocket. He was homeless for many years. Like my dad really had it rough, even rougher than Tiana, I would say, because uh, Tiana at least had her family home the entire time and she was legal in the country that she was living in. So obviously different experiences, but yeah, my dad had a really rough time, very much similar to Tiana and he also received a lot of racist treatment back in that day you know that was the 70s and it was rough it was rough he honestly told me about a story where he went to england and he was allowed to stay as a refugee with this english family and the wife was so racist to my dad she wouldn't let him be anywhere else in the house except for in his room and whenever she had friends over she would force my dad to sit outside in the rain to eat his dinner because he wasn't allowed to eat dinner in the home in front of her and her friends and I just remember being so angry when my dad told me that story and yeah so although my dad's experiences were not that of a black woman he did have a lot of racist treatment as a Middle Eastern man and so when I just see Tiana and I see how well she's able to do for herself regardless of her treatment especially those two salesmen who were almost not gonna give her the restaurant like they called her you know a woman of your background like that pissed me off and my dad had similar treatment to that so that's why I love Tiana and the Princess and the Frog because it just reminds me of the struggles my dad had to go through but also how he overcame them just like Tiana did and it's just so beautiful it's so amazing to see it represented in a movie as well especially a Disney princess movie because most Disney princess movies they don't have too much of a rough time like they're all princesses and so they're fine I would say the only other princess who really had a rough time like Tiana was Mulan because she had to go to war. That's pretty rough as well. In a different way, but still rough. So yeah, sorry, I've been rambling a lot. I didn't talk about any of those last two spreads. So the one with the lilies was my mood tracker and I basically drew 10 lilies and each lily I'm gonna color in three different colors for three different days so there are 30 days in the month 10 lilies three colors or three days per lily and that's how I'm gonna color my mood tracker and then the last spread I just did was my habit tracker and weight tracker and I wanted to do a spread dedicated to Dr. Facilier the villain because he is the only black Disney villain and he's absolutely amazing and cool and I loved his song so much like I used to sing that song all the time 
and sometimes I still do like I'll just be like doing chores around the house and that song will pop into my head because it's such a cool and creative villain song and I just loved him he was very cool and I don't think he gets uh, enough hype that he deserves as a Disney villain because he's an amazing villain but anyway on to this spread this is my finances and my brain dump spread and for the brain dump I decided to draw Tiana's restaurant I was unsure whether to go with Charlotte's home for this page or the restaurant because Charlotte's home is technically a castle during the uh, Mardi Gras parade but I don't know it's Charlotte's home it's not Tiana's home and I wanted to specifically draw this restaurant at somewhere in the spread and I thought this would be the perfect one also did any of you notice this because I did not her restaurant is called Tiana's Palace but if you pay attention to the end of the movie the menus that she has at the restaurant are the same image that I drew on the cover page that says Tiana's Place. So the menu says Tiana's Place, but the restaurant says Tiana's Palace. And I never noticed that. Like all these years, I thought her restaurant was called Tiana's Place because I just didn't pay attention to the extra A. And then when I was paying attention to this image properly and I had to draw it, I was like, oh my gosh, it says Palace. Her restaurant is named Tiana's Palace. And I never noticed this. And I feel like I'm pretty good at noticing like important details in movies. Like I do notice a lot of stuff. So I'm very surprised that I never noticed this. It could also be because when we see the outside of her restaurant, we only see it for like 10 seconds in the movie. But I'm still just very surprised that I never noticed it. But anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying the painting of this restaurant. I decided to start painting with all of these smaller details because the building being like a dark brick red sounded very intimidating and messy to work with and so I thought it would be easier if I painted all of the windows and the green highlights and all those things first. But I really loved how this painting turned out. It definitely has that summer vibe which is what I initially wanted from Tiana's theme. I definitely wanted to paint Tiana sometime in the summer because all the colors and the vibes of the movie just make me think of the summer months and this restaurant painting gave me exactly that. And so this spread is my productivity log and I had to draw some beignets on here. Like how can you not think of Tiana and not think of her beignets? Also, if you have had the beignets in downtown Disney, you know what I'm talking about when I say that beignets are amazing and like beignets and Tiana are one, you know, like you can't have her without her beignets. Um, so I just sketched these roughly by hand. These are not based on an image online or anything. I just kind of drew some odd shapes and <laughs> called it a day. Um, I didn't really know how to paint them properly yeah you just kind of like splattered around the beige and a bit of gray on top and I kind of went with that um, anyway so this is the next spread this is my first weekly I set up the Dutch door off camera because I really wanted to make sure that I would get this video done on time for you guys and the next few weeklies you'll see that the Dutch doors are not there but they're there in the flip through because I added them later but anyway so the drawings on this spread I decided to draw Tiana and her parents when she was a kid and this is when they had just cooked the gumbo and I just loved this scene. Also I really want to honor this amazing Disney dad because he, he was just one of the most unique Disney dads and I love him, he reminds me of my own dad. And I did this same type of illustration for my Ariel theme in March. I painted Ariel and Triton, but faceless. And if you're wondering why I do this, I have a few reasons. One, if you've noticed, look how small their faces are. They are smaller than my nails. Like, look at your nails and try to paint a very tiny face the size of your nail. Yeah, I don't want to draw a face that small. But... I also liked the idea of it being faceless because 
It's just more about the vibe of the movie. Like when I painted Ariel and Triton, I just wanted to see that father-daughter bond when I looked at the painting. I didn't want to look at the specific characters. And that's the same with this painting again. I just wanted to see their cute, wholesome family with the amazing father figure in the middle, you know? So that's why I did that. And then on the side here, I thought I would paint the dad's gumbo pot. I painted it with a bow wrapped around it because that's what it looked like when um, Tiana's mother gifted it to her at the restaurant. And I just thought it was really sweet with the bow on it. So that's why I painted it like that. But anyway, we're on to the second weekly now, and I wanted to create the vibes of when they were frogs and when they were in the, what's it called, the bayou. Because I, didn't, I did not know how to create this vibe because as I watched the movie, there were a lot of scenes in the bayou that didn't look nice to paint. And some of them were very dark and at night and there wasn't much going on because a lot of the time the camera was very zoomed in on the frogs and frogs are small and so all you see is dirt behind them but I remember when Ray the firefly enters the picture and all the fly not flies all the fireflies are dancing around and there's the trees and flies and it's all glittery and I tried to recreate that with the watercolor painting and the gold paint as the flies. In person it looks a lot better because the gold is very reflective and you can see it. I still struggle with painting trees. If you have watched any of my princess setups this year, you will notice that every time there's a tree painting it's my worst painting because I don't know why, I just struggle with trees but I'm not going to give up, I'm going to keep trying. and. For this painting, I decided to paint the pumpkin that Tiana cooks in and she has the little jalapenos on the side too, which I thought just looked really cute. And it really makes me think of the vibes of the forest because there was the fireflies and the meal that they prepared and that was when we got some more vulnerability from Prince Naveen. Like we learned a little bit more about him and how he feels being cut off from his family. And that was a really cute moment and I wanted that in here as well. And on this spread, my third weekly, I wanted to do another spread for Dr. Facilier also because purple is my favorite color and I just really wanted to draw more items from him. So this first one is his business card, which I just really liked the look of. Like I loved the font. My version of the font is very messy. It's not that neat. And I also really liked the weird skull with hat drawing on the side. I just thought it was really cool. And this one is one of the prince's cards when he's when Dr. Facilier is reading Prince Naveen's future. This is one of the cards that he shows about how he likes his lifestyle high. And yeah, I thought it was fun to draw. If you noticed, I did use some Tombow brush pens in these two paintings for the pinks and purples and reds just because I wanted to speed this up a bit and the area was so small and I don't have a pink that bright in my watercolor palette so that's why I just decided to go with that and then this is my fourth weekly there are actually five weeklies in this setup so sorry to keep you guys for longer but for this fourth weekly I had to do something for Mama Odie like she's an amazing character and she's hilarious but I did not know what to draw for Mama Odie. There's a lot of imagery, but it's hard to draw or visualize on its own. I was thinking of maybe doing the bathtub that she had for, that was like her version of a gumbo pop. I thought it would look really weird to have a bathtub on the corner of the page. So I did her chair and footstool, and then I did those glass bottles that she seems to have hanging from the ceilings. There is no explanation for them, but they're very colorful and pretty and so I just decided to include them. I again used markers for that and I kind of regret it because I think watercolor would have looked a lot more delicate and pretty, but I was trying to experiment with my markers again and so I just did that. And then this is my fifth weekly. And for this weekly, I'm only doing four days because that's all that's left in this month. 
and I wanted to actually paint the frog prince book that we see in the film because that's what the whole story is based off of and I just really liked the look of it. Again, I kind of regret using the marker because it ended up being very, very dark, but the book was a very dark green in the movie, so I just kind of live with it. And then the other painting I did was the cute little restaurant setup that Naveen tried to do for Tiana where he minced some fruit and I just thought it was so sweet and I just remember when she saw it and she says no one's ever done anything like this for me and I think that was an important moment for Tiana because this was when she partially realized what it means to not forget about love in your life because it seemed like she was maybe forgetting about that which kind of frustrating because like after a few years they abandoned love in the disney princess world so i don't know why we didn't just let tiana be a hard-working princess who just gets her dream but whatever in the movie she was encouraged to remember about love and she still gets her restaurant in the end so that was not forgotten about but yeah, on this spread for my monthly check-in and monthly review, I decided to draw the both of them dancing like the way they were in the movie when the firefly is singing to them. And yeah, I just thought it would look really cute and it would be a nice way to wrap up this theme. So here we are at the final flip through. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're still here, please leave a frog emoji down below. I'd love to know who's still here and who decided to leave early. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the artwork and subscribe if you're not already so you can see the rest of my Disney themes this year. I have completely finished this journal now and I will be doing a new journal setup later this month. And let's all wish Izumi a happy birthday. I really hope that you get to see this video and that you enjoyed Tiana's theme. I know you said that she was your favorite, so I hope you really enjoyed it. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.